stop killing of Igbo youth in the southeast. Eberibi tells Inspector General of Police. The minority leader of the Senate, Senator Enaya Eberibi, yesterday fled the killings of six youths by security agencies in the southeast during the lockdown ordered by states in the region in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. A Beribi does called on the Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohammed Adamu, to stop the rising rates of extrajudicial killings of innocent Nigerians in the Southeast by trigger-happy policemen hiding under the cover of enforcing the COVID-19 lockdown. He made the allegation in a statement yesterday, tasking the Inspector General to explain to Nigerians why his men have found the entire Southeast as most vulnerable in the circumstance to deploy such level of maximum force on the citizens. He said, at the last count, no fewer than six Igbo youth admit their untimely deaths in the hands of trigger happy policemen purportedly enforcing the stay at home order. A Beribi said, Why the concentration in the southeast, in Aba, Abia State, precisely in Urata Junction? One youth was allegedly gunned down, while another was heavily brutalized with gum boots to a point of coma on Friday. This came a day after another young man was killed in Umoika Junction for no junction cause. It could be recalled that two weeks ago, a patrol attendant in one of the patrol stations in Ogbo Hill was also shot and killed while on duty by a policeman who claimed stray bullets. There are also reports of protests in Ohafia in Abia State today, Saturday, over alleged killing of some youth in the community by the same police. Again, we have not forgotten the alleged killing of another young man in Unko near Onicha in Anambra State. There may be some other unreported cases in this region involving the officers of the Nigerian police. Yet, in all of this, we have not heard of any decisive action taken by the police high command to stem this ugly tide, the Senate minority leader said. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, I will see that the Nigerian government uh, 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 is, is a government that feels less concerned to matters like this when it comes to, when when it involves the Igbos, when the the, the 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 issue has to do with the Igbo people. They know that it's because. It's the, the matter or the issue has to do with the Igbos or the Southeast. That is why the President Momo Buhari's administration has refused to show concern. Now, the minority leader, Senator Einaya Eberibe, is now passing it as an information to the federal government that this inious crime must come to come must come to stop and now even to today the federal government has refused to do anything they have kept deaf ear pretending they know nothing about what is happening all because it involves an evil man or woman if if any issue concerning Igbos 
the federal government choose we choose to feel less consigned because they don't want to have anything to do with the egos. But when it comes to tapping the resources of the Southeastern people, they will know how to go about it and also how to contact the Southeast people to assist them. I don't blame the governor of River State for taking the action it took against the ExoMobile staffs encroaching the encroaching into river states you see the federal government of nigeria is a biased uh is a it's a biased administration is a biased uh, gov uh, government you see our government is a government that only focus on people on, on, on a particular set of people whom they believe can they, they can they, they, they can do um, that, that, they, that, that cannot challenge them if they, they do anything that they know that is not right. you know They know that the Southeast people are people, with extraordinary intelligence. So they do everything humanly possible to see how to, how to deprive them of, of, of the opportunity to get, uh, uh, to get those things that, they, that we help them in attaining to the level that they are. They don't even want any evil man or woman to get to to the same level with them. So they that is why they keep um, depriving them of opportunities, uh, shutting opportunities, you know, putting them in a, a, a in a very low key, and not allowing them to gain from what. Uh, others are gaining you know you can imagine you can imagine how the egos are being brutalized you can imagine how the egos are being are being uh, intimidated you know this is what we are talking about and um, and that is really the reason why the egos are agitating for the republic of biafra Nigeria as a country has never for once shown love to the people of Southeast. And it's so it's so painful. It's so painful. And I'll proudly say it. I'll proudly say it that it's totally wrong. So my viewers, let us um, let us also agitate just like Senator Eberibi has just done because keeping quiet i will say we cause a we we, we 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 cause more harm to the people of southeast uh nigerian government i will tell you that they are not ready to do anything concerning this not until they see the maximum number of people that are agitating concerning this so my viewers so many things has happened to, to to the egos to the egos and we don't want more to happen again a lot of uh, egos have dropped dead um in, in, in this period of um, lockdown a lot has been has been locked have been has been uh, arrested unjustly a lot has been has been beaten unjustly so many things has happened and yet and yet we don't want to learn our lessons so my viewers let us try our best to see that we we'll put an end to this mess so uh this is my only two observation 
So I don't know what your own observation may be. Whatsoever it is, please, I beg you, they are very much important. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated anytime we upload new videos. Thank you.